tough spring for you? Yeah, it's been a different one for me. It's been uh, it's been interesting. There's been some good weeks. There's been some bad weeks. Um, last week was really probably the first week of spring practice was probably one of the rougher ones for me. Uh, I, I've got a feeding tube put in now, so it's a little bit easier for me to uh, hold and maintain some nutrition. So I'm able to make it out to more practices and more meetings and stuff. So uh, this week's definitely one of the, it's, it always feels good to be able to get out on the field. So when I can get out on the field, it allows to alleviate my mind from some of the other worries and things like that. So it's been a good week for me. I've been able to be out here for Monday's practice, today's practice. I'll be out here for as many practices that I, as that I can possibly make. So every time I can get out here, I always feel a little bit better. When, when did you receive uh, the diagnosis and what, what kind of led up to you? Uh, so I'd gone home over Christmas break, uh, back down to Florida. And when I came back, uh, I just kind of thought it was a weather change. So I had a little bit of a stiff neck, you know, colder weather, drier air. I don't know if you guys know this, but there are a lot of allergies up here. Um, and I, I was kind of feeling my neck, and I felt a lump in my neck. And uh, they thought maybe I had an infected salivary gland or something like that and put me on antibiotics for a couple of weeks, and I was on the road recruiting. Actually, my last recruiting trip was with Chins out in Dallas. And as I came back, I realized the lump hadn't changed, and it had actually had gotten bigger. So I went and came back and saw a doc, and they sent me over to the ENT right away and got me a CAT scan and told me that I, on January 20th, maybe, or 21st, that I had cancer. So kind of goes boom 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 really fast but got the diagnosis started treatment right away and so I'm, I just I just crossed the halfway point of treatment now so I got a few more rounds of chemo to go and 14 more rounds of radiation so but I'm over the halfway mark now so that's good when will you hope we, if it goes to plan like when when would it all be done as far as the radiation goes I'm hoping uh uh, God willing, I'll be done with everything the first week of April, treatment-wise. So that's kind of the, the goal right now is to be done. Uh, you know, they think, you know, that I'm responding seems to be pretty well to the treatment. I'm a little bit lighter. It's a bad diet plan. I don't suggest it. <laughs> um, but there was a little bit of a concern there when I was losing a lot of weight really fast, you know, because you're not able to eat and the radiation burns in your throat make it really hard to swallow and you can't taste anything. And chemotherapy is not exactly what you would call a good time. Uh, so I lost a bunch of weight, so they put the feeding tube in, and now my body's responding a little bit better to treatment because it's got the nutrition to be able to heal itself a little bit better and faster. What's the support been like from? It's been amazing. And it's been um, it's been really good, actually, really good. How much weight have you dropped, Coach, over this process? Uh, Forty-five pounds or so, something like that, in the last couple of weeks. It's been really good. What's it mean to? I mean, I know you sort of mentioned a little bit, but just to be out there and to watch. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it gives you a chance to get I mean, I'm not one for sitting around the couch and hanging out and just sleeping and then throwing up and then sleeping and then throwing up and doing all those things. Uh, so for me to be able to get out in the yard makes life so much better for me. It's a lot better. From the football part, what do, what do you see out of your outside back or so far? It's been really fun. It's been hard not being there for every meeting and every every position drill that we're able to do. Like there's sometimes in practice I've got to go take an oh, I'm sorry. I've got to go take a knee just because I got to get some hydration going through my body. Uh, but I've seen a lot of improvement over the course of the last two or three practices. There's just a better fundamental understanding of what we're doing, you know, and so they're able to anticipate a little bit more than instead of having to react. They're able to see things develop and understand where an offense is trying to attack those guys. So uh, from that standpoint, it's been really encouraging to see some of the guys. Alex Davis, I think, is playing a lot better. You know, I, I've talked to him about increasing his, his productivity uh, throughout the course of the offseason. I thought he's done a really good job. I think Ferg is getting back to being who Ferg is supposed to be. So I'm excited about that. Jojo Doman's probably 230 pounds right now. Uh, excuse my French, but he's kind of built like a brick shit house for being 230 pounds. Uh, so it's, it, you know, the, the aspect that he's got to improve on a little bit is going to be obviously the physical nature of being down in the box more than being out in space. But he gives us the ability to, to morph in and out of some defenses with him on the field as opposed to being locked into a certain style of defense when he's on the field. Scott last week said that the general prognosis for the, the type of cancer you had is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I imagine it's really difficult, the, the research process and trying to figure out sort of where he, where that falls. And yeah, so it's never... It's 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 kind of a surreal experience to be told that this is what you've got. You've got a form of cancer, um, you know. Because I was sitting, I was actually at uh, the hospital by myself because my wife was like, "Yeah, go ahead and go." And I was sitting there, and they just told me. Um, so it's really a surreal process to realize that you are truthfully facing something that can kill you, right? Like, now my cure rate's supposed to be really good in the mid ninety percentile range, and so those things are good. And of the people, all the doctors that I've spoken with and talked and, 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 and talked to, you know, they said they've never had anybody not respond, you know, well to the to the procedure. It's just it's not an easy process to go through. Um, and truth be told, if it wasn't for some of the other uh, side effects you get from the actual treatment, I probably wouldn't have lost forty five pounds, but. 
uh, some, sometimes the treatment almost feels worse than the cure to a certain degree. Um, so when I look at you know some of those, it's one thing for a guy like my age, 43 year old guy, to have cancer and things like that. But when you start talking about, you know, I do the Team Jack event in the last couple of years, you start seeing some of those kids, and those kids are tough, man, because this shit sucks. All right, you see kids like that who are sick and who are able to handle through it. God bless them. How much, uh, how much of the players in your room kind of helped you through the difficult process? Uh, quite a bit. So um, my guys call me pretty much every day to check on me. And then um, excuse me. <laughs> When your former players call you, and former people you've worked with call you, you know you've done some good things because those kids call me every single day to make sure that I'm doing all right, I'm hanging out okay. So it's been really good. My guys help me out a lot, more than they know, current and former players. Are the, are the doctors cool with you being out What's that? Are the doctors cool with you being out No, probably not. <laughs> no. I can't say that they, would, they like that, no. How's your wife like it? She hates it. She took my car keys. She made me park my van, my truck here at work, so it's been in the parking garage for a couple of weeks. Um, I probably shouldn't be driving all that much, so I'm not. So she took my car keys. She made me park the car up here, so I've got to either get a ride from one of the GAs or from her to be able to come to work so she knows where I'm at. Otherwise, she is not, she is not happy about it at all. Better hope your doctors don't watch TV. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, Doc. What, what have they told you? What have they told you? Just, to uh, just they told me to rest, to be smart, to not overexert myself. To uh, you know, obviously, when you're going through things like this, the treatment that I'm getting, you can be somewhat uh, immunocompromised. You know, your white blood cell counts go down and things like that. So, you've got to be smart. You've got to use some common sense. You've got to use a lot of uh, hand sanitizer and, and not getting too close with the boys because they are 18 and 22 year old college kids that are yeah. disgusting sometimes. So you got to be smart when you you know dap them up instead of give them a hug, that kind of thing. Was there a, what was the first practice you were back out here? First one of the first one of the year. I was out here for number one. And that one I probably should not have been out here for, to be honest with you. I didn't have my feeding tube in yet. I hadn't eaten in probably about like 10 days or so. So I was promptly checked into the doctor's office shortly thereafter. It wasn't very smart on my part. But so of the five, how many have you missed? One. Yeah, I missed uh, last week, Wednesday. Because uh, I, I had to get a feeding, I had to get the feeding tube put in, so I wasn't able to make it to Wednesday's practice. It's the first practice in 35 years since I was eight years old that I've missed. Did the so. team know you were going to be at that first practice? Um, I, I, well, I was in the meeting, so once I was in the meetings, I think they assumed that I was going to be there. Yeah. What was the reaction to you when you? It was cool. It's really cool. You know, those guys, like I said, they've given me a ton of support over the course of the last couple of weeks and months. So, it's it's been really cool, man. It's been really, it's been more helpful than they can possibly imagine.